Earth has arrived. And most of the planet's ecosystems have still not made the grade. Is this the kind of future we want? Are we to leave our successors a scorched planet, full of advancing deserts and an ailing environment? Are we not responsible trustees and good guardians of the world? Do we want the future prospect of the world to be so smog? Well, what can we do to make our Earth a better place to live in? How many of us are aware of the fact that we are currently standing on a prospective source of immense energy. Yes, right under our feet, we have the geothermal energy of around 5,000 degrees Celsius burning away. And scientists say that if we use this energy, we can solve the energy crisis of almost all the countries of the world. Walk into an exercise center of nowadays, and you'll see 20 people furiously pedaling on their stationary bikes. Watch a bit more closely, and you'll see these bikes are connected to big black boxes with wires running all around them. Now, the truth is this is a generator which has the potential to convert kinetic energy into electrical energy, and this is called people-generated power. Now, the question which arises here is, can human civilization lead a comfortable and luxurious lifestyle in the absence of fossil fuels? I would like to answer this with the help of a few examples. How many of us sitting here have heard about the Mazdar city in Abu Dhabi? Well, for those who don't, Mazdar is a commercially driven enterprise that operates on the full spectrum of renewable energy and sustainable technology. It clearly paints a picture of the ambitious aims set out by the government of Abu Dhabi for its 2030 vision. Remember the great school memory device, Greenland is icy and Iceland is green? Well, it's truer than ever, thanks to the efforts put forth by the government of Iceland. Allow me to distract you from Iceland for a while to the hydrogen fuel cell. Now, the hydrogen fuel cell, it is a new mechanism which converts hydrogen fuel into electricity. Now, the only inputs required here is hydrogen and oxygen, and as a result, we get electricity, but most importantly, we can continue generating electricity from the cell as long as we have a sufficient supply of hydrogen and oxygen. Coming back to Iceland, its capital city has introduced hydrogen buses on its streets. And like the rest of the country, its aim is to go completely fossil fuel free by 2050. Hailed for its pedestrian friendliness, promotion of solar energy, and innovative parking strategies, Barcelona is creating a new vision for the future of Europe. I could go on and on about the green cities developing around us, but one thing I would like to ask is, instead of a few cities or countries going green, can't we think about the entire world going green? How hard is it for us to imagine a world without fossil fuels? How would the world be if nature, human beings, and technology were able to coexist peacefully in a sustainable state of dynamic balance? One organization which strives for such a cause is the Venus Project. Experience has taught us that human nature can be converted either towards constructive or destructive activity, and this is what the Venus Project is all about directing our resources and technology for the positive and maximum benefit of the planet and its survivors. In the words of John Lennon, imagine all the people living life in peace. No need for greed or hunger, a brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people sharing all the planet. However, the root cause as to why we cannot use sustainable energy in our lifestyle is due to the speed at which man wants to acquire his needs and goals. Hence, is man ready to compromise on his greed and thereby at the speed at which he procures them? Now, the only solution to this is not the eradication, but minimization of the extensive use of the natural resources and fossil fuels. Let us join hands with the Earth. Let us form a partnership with the Earth, and let us coexist comfortably with the planet. Allow me to conclude with a Native American saying, 
free the earth well. We haven't inherited it from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. Thank you.